In the latest turn of events on Gold Rush, Tony Beats has once again proven his resilience and strategic mindset by acquiring a wash plant for a whopping $800,000. This comes after his previous wash plant at Indian River faced setbacks due to missing screen decks. Rather than waiting weeks for replacements, Tony made a surprising and secretive move, purchasing a gently used wash plant with less than a thousand hours of operation. The Mac SD600 is not unfamiliar to gold rush enthusiasts, as Parker Schnabel has been utilizing a similar model with great success. Tony's decision to invest in this particular wash plant highlights his commitment to staying competitive in the mining industry. The plant's reported value of over a million dollars, combined with Tony's revelation that he secured it for $800,000, suggests a shrewd business move on his part. The acquisition of the new wash plant, affectionately named Sir Slusalot, has already shown promising results during cleanup time, with an impressive yield of 84.58 ounces. This successful start indicates that the wash plant is indeed living up to its reputation as a high-performing piece of equipment. While many fans are excited about the potential success of Tony's new wash plant, not everyone shares the enthusiasm, particularly many. As the person in charge of bookkeeping, she has expressed concerns about the financial implications of such a significant purchase. This internal dissent adds an element of tension to Team Beats, raising questions about the long-term impact on their financial stability. The decision to acquire this new wash plant may be a turning point for Tony Beats and Team Beats. Despite a slow start to the season, with Parker Schnabel dominating the gold totals, Tony's recent performance, coupled with the new washer, suggests a potential resurgence for the Beats crew. The Mac SD600 could extend their mining season and contribute to closing the gap between Parker's impressive 5,789.95 ounces of gold and Tony's more modest 1,257.84 ounces. As Tony Beats adapts his tactics and invests in modern, efficient equipment, he seems to be following in the footsteps of Parker Schnabel, who has consistently demonstrated the importance of innovation and adaptability in the gold mining industry. Only time will tell if Tony's strategic move with the wash plant will prove to be the game-changer team Beats needs to secure a successful season and reclaim their competitive edge in the gold mining race. In reflecting on Tony Beats' recent decision to invest in the new wash plant, it's evident that the seasoned miner is not one to be underestimated. Tony's ability to swiftly adapt to challenges and make bold strategic moves showcases his deep understanding of the gold mining business. While it's challenging to make definitive predictions about the outcome of Tony Beat's season on Gold Rush, his strategic move to acquire the wash plant does suggest a potential turnaround. The new equipment has already shown promising results during cleanup time, indicating increased efficiency and gold recovery. However, the success of Tony's season will depend on various factors, including the continued performance of the wash plant, the team's adaptability to the new equipment, and external factors like weather conditions and gold prices. Tony Beats has a history of overcoming obstacles and turning things around, and the new wash plant might be the key to salvaging his season. The shift in tactics, coupled with his determination and experience, could lead to a more successful mining operation. However, challenges and uncertainties are inherent in gold mining, and unexpected setbacks can always occur. Fans of Gold Rush will have to stay tuned to see how Tony Beats and Team Beats navigate the remainder of the season. The acquisition of the wash plant introduces an element of excitement and anticipation, as viewers eagerly await the unfolding of Tony's mining strategy and the impact it will have on the overall success of his season.